Hello and welcome back to Bamboo Batu. Taking a slight departure this week from our usual programming to remind you that life is beautiful. You know, there's a lot of weird stuff going on in the world today. It's pretty easy to get worked up about rising global temperatures, extreme weather events, melting ice caps, loss of biodiversity. It can get kind of depressing. And if you focus on all that, it's gonna make uh, it's gonna make life a little bit less wonderful. So once upon a time, there was a young man who wanted to learn the ways of the Buddha. He wanted to learn about enlightenment, and so he went to a Buddhist monastery, and he met with the, the head monk of the monastery, and he said, "Father." monk, master, uh, I'd like to join the monastery. I'd like to learn the ways of the Buddha. And he was told he could join the monastery, but under a few conditions. One of those conditions was that he was required to take a vow of silence. And with that vow of silence, he was only allowed to speak two words every 10 years. And there were some other conditions too but that's, uh, those are secondary to the story. So <clears throat> he agreed to the terms, sounded reasonable. Um, enlightenment, of course, of the spirit does come with a, a material cost and the young man considered it all very worthwhile. So he joined the monastery. He uh, did the proper <clears throat> stuff with his hair. He uh, adopted the proper diet which was pretty limited, and uh, made some other adjustments in his lifestyle, and and became silent, didn't say anything for 10 years. And then after 10 years, he went to the to the head office with the master, master monk. And the master monk, who, um, who uh, because of the, the rules of the monastery and other requirements, he was allowed to speak uh, a little bit more often. Not a lot, but... He could. He had to conduct business, so he could speak a little bit more. So he asked asked the young, uh, <clears throat> the young man, the young apprentice, um, "How's it going so far? What do you think about our monastery and your your first ten years here?" And the young man replied, "Hard bed." The master shrugged, you know. Okay. So he let him go. <clears throat> he went back to praying and meditating for another ten years, and then. Uh, after those 10 years passed, he went back to the head office to speak to the master monk. The master monk said, ah, oh, it's been 10 years again already. My, how time does fly here at the monastery. He said, well, any, any thoughts uh, about your experience now? It's been 20 years. And the, uh, the young man, who's not such a young man anymore, responds, bad food. Well, the master shrugs his shoulders again and says, all right, well. There you have it. So he lets him go back to meditating and, and praying and the years pass on and on. And another 10 years go by and it's time again for that, uh, that once in a decade check in with the head master monk. And he says to the monk, no, sorry. The monk says to him, How, uh, how's it going? It's been 30 years now in the monastery. You've been uh, very devoted. We really admire um, your silence and your other uh, indications of devotion. Any any further comments uh, at this point? And the monk, now being there 30 years, says, I quit. And so the master monk says, well, you might as well. You've done nothing but complain ever since you got here. Well, that's today's lesson, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back next week. We'll be talking more about bamboo. Take it easy and remember, life is wonderful. Cheers.